Okay, hi people, how are you? My name is Sanders and I'm back with Power Tools Repair video. So today I have here the Bosch 8 and volts cordless drill and the customer told that it works intermediately. So it sometimes works, sometimes not. Okay, so I don't have battery for it and the customer not gave it to me. So, but of course, <coughs> we will check wires, the carbon brushes in the switch and we will see what's wrong with it. So, okay, need to take the proper bit for this one. Okay, I will go to check to take my cordless drill. Okay, so I'm back with a cordless drill. Okay, just take the correct bit for this one. So the Bosch will repair Bosch. Okay. Just will unscrew the screws here to check what's inside the housing. Okay, so what we can see now from the first look, you can see the commutator here from the armature, it not looks very good, but of course we will check it. Okay, as you can see the carbon brushes are moving normally, okay. Now what can be the problem, we need to clean this one because it's all dirty, it cannot be a good contact with carbon brushes and that's why tool can work intermediately. Okay, so second way what we need to check is that switch are working or not. Okay, I will try to do that with multimeter, honestly not, I don't know, normally you, you need to do that with a battery, okay, but what if you don't have a battery like me now? Okay, so we have the contact here and okay what we have here nothing okay it's okay so some circuits so okay Okay, so okay, one of the switch contact is working, so I think the switch is working. Okay, but it's I think it's real, the real problem is here in the commutator, so we need to clean it. Okay, the easiest way to clean it just take the sanding paper. Okay, I will use P280, P280, so okay, and what you can do, you can just clean it like that, okay. Okay, the second way, how you can do that, you can remove the ball bearing here, or of course I will try to take it with a drill now. If your drill check is bigger, you can take the gear with your drill check and then spin it around and just sand it. Okay, I can do that in other way, I can remove the ball bearing. Okay, I will do that, I will remove it and show it. So, okay, I will remove it and back here. Okay, 
just taking the portion and the hammer. So we have the armature and ball bearing. Okay, so now we can get it with the chuck. Okay, do the sanding paper like this and then sand it. Okay, now we need to clean it with compressed air. Okay, so of course you can if you want you can clean it with a knife just gently okay as you can see it's a lot of dust there that can be a problem it's a big problem of course okay Now cleaning it again with a compressed air. Okay, so we have shiny commutator. Of course now we need to put the ball bearing on. One of the ways, very simple, just put it on the table and hit the armature. Of course, it's not the best way to do that, but it's simple and fast. Okay, so now, of course, we can assemble it. Okay, just installing it back. Just check how we install the carbon brushes. Should not be like me. Okay. Okay, so they need to be here, the field. This pin for the must be here so okay trying to install it again okay just almost in the carbon brush holder not in its place so Okay, just checking how it looks here, it's not okay, the field is not moving, the garage is right, this one right, so, okay, you can close it now, of course, check this one, you will be pissed off if you will need to reassemble it again, okay. Okay, now screwing it back again. Okay, it's 
also not here. Where are you from? Fuck, don't know. Okay, I will check it. Okay. I think it's from here. Yep. It was here. So you need to put it back. Okay. So it's in now. And assembling it again. Okay. Okay, that was a Bosch, eight and volts, cordless drill. Okay, and you, uh, of course, I don't have a battery to test it, but I think it will be okay. So, if you are in the same situation and after checking the tool still works not good, then you need to change the armature. So, okay, folks, that's all. Okay, please subscribe to my videos. Of course, comment on them because I like comments. And I hope you like my videos and see you in my next videos. Okay, bye.